This might put it in perspective for the average consumer. Yep. So, on a, I'll start with how you uh, accumulate contribution room. So, you have to open the account to start generating or accumulating that contribution room. And for every calendar year that you have it opened, you get $8,000 of contribution room up to a maximum of $40,000. So five years essentially. Right. On a yearly basis, you can contribute up to $16,000 in one calendar year. Simply, you can carry forward one year of unused contribution room. So if you opened it in 2024, the maximum you could do would be 8,000. If you didn't contribute anything in 2024 and carried over to 2025, the maximum you could do in 2025 would be 16,000. You could potentially not have to pay taxes on any of that money. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. On what you could, on your yeah. down payment? Yeah, exactly. So you're, as, as you contribute to that FHSA, exact same as if it's an RSP, you get to use that as a tax deduction, right? So for example, you know, uh, if a client put in $16,000 this year, so they opened the FHSA in 2023, put, a, uh, tw put in 16,000 in 2024, uh, bought a house in, in the same time, that 16,000 gets deducted from their income tax. So as right. assume $100,000 income, roughly 33% uh, marginal tax rate, you know, you're saving five grand in taxes uh, just from doing that contribution.